Hello there, and welcome back to some more Spyro the Dragon Reignited Trilogy. It's Spyro 3 version. Uh, last episode, we started World 4, got all the gems in here, and now we're going to free Agent 9. I think he's saying Agent 7, it's Agent 9. Agent 9's lab to then do World 3. I'm super clear that. In the meantime, let me just uh, close this box. What was that? Did you see a Rhinoch? I thought I saw a Rhinoch. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinox. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. Okay. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Of course I can. So I get... This is like a first-person shooter now, or third-person shooter, I guess. Because I have to do actual shooting. Oh! I like that. Instrumentation. Is it in part of the song or is it just a sound effect? Oh. All I remember is that these are usually mercifully short because what can you really do? You can't really platform like this. Hello, Professor. A number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. Well, I can do that. Shoot the red panic button to lock the Rhinox in. There we go. So now we can keep going. I mean, obviously, in terms of third-person shooter mechanics, it's not going to blow anyone's socks off. But it's not too bad either. These indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Shoot the Rhinox as they appear in front of the screen. Press the Y button to enter sniper mode. So I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but maybe this was one of those games like Ape Escape that you had to have a dual shock to use. Because I don't know how you'd do this stuff with the shooting section without being able to rotate the camera with the right stick. You cleared them out! Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Speaking of. Another PS1 game I'd like a remake of, along with Croc, is Ape Escape. But you can do Ape Escape 1, 2, and 3. I know that one's a PS1 game and one's a PS2 game, but still, you can brush up the graphics a lot. Hello. Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. To target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. Okay. Press the Y button to enter sniper mode. Press the LB and RB buttons to zoom in and out while using sniper mode. For the pinpoint accuracy. Agent 9 doesn't get his, uh... Pans dirty. Yet he lets his laser do the talking. I know I'm supposed to use sniper mode, but... Don't have to do so. Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. Uh, what do you think? We'll find out when it hatches. Bula. There's yeah, dragon. Now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. Gravitonometric. No birds got in here. Uh oh.
do this. Years of training. I mean, I'm not really a, a shooter player, so I'm much more of a just spam the button and hope it works sort of player. There you go. Bosh. Got him. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Uh, follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. Okay. Oh. Right, so where's the the other goods I'm missing? Rocket attachment. By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot. Okay, press the X button to throw bombs. To carefully aim your throw, press and hold down X. There we go, that seems to work. I'm guessing the bombs are how I destroy uh, the other ones too. These chests with the things in front of them. Sploosh. Now there's, like, boatman. How many gems are in here? 700. What? Okay. I'm guessing I can't just shoot. Maybe I can. Yeah, I can just shoot. Good. I wouldn't really recommend it, but it seems to be working okay. Could so of course be using bombs, but eh? Looks like you hit the wall of the level. Okay. Just can't find the Vinox pilots these days. Tony. Now the rest of these damnable Rhinox. We'll find them. We'll kill them. We'll blow them up. Oh, I've lost my bombs. Gotta get some more. Thank you. Do -do 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 -do. Whoa. Don't wanna accidentally hit that. Oh, it's the professor. Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Now I can resume thinking. Rowan. <laughs> nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> uh, right. So I want to destroy all of the big rotund metal objects. I need some bombs for that. I'm only missing. 186. But then these chests could have a lot in. Yeah, there's like 25 right there. Okay. I mean, those those 25s, I mean. But now I've got to go all the way around the rest of the level. Okay. I'll be back. Hmm? Upwards. Oh! more you know. I didn't see those. It's my bad. Okay. There, there. Five and five. Okay. All around the other side of the map. Okay. Possibly around the other side of the map. I've got to look in the air more because I've missed a lot of balloons. Just floating in the air. 
Okay, right, so we're gonna carry on here. I guess I just missed that one. Hmm. Alright. Oh, well, there's another. We've got to find the iron boxes. Alright, there's some in the, the sky again. I knew there would be, because I knew I missed some. Someone set up... Set, oh, someone set us up the bomb. In Agent 9's lab, as Agent 9, shoot down all the balloons. That's a reference to one of those... Uh, it, I can't remember if it was a bootleg or an actual game. You know, the, you know, the all, all your base belonged to us. Game. There we go. 700 out of 700. We're good to go. Now, because of my incessant need to actually leave the level the proper way, I've got to run through the whole thing again. How's that? Why did it turn? Okay. Don't worry about it. I think it's part of this staircase. That would probably bother some people a lot. It doesn't bother me. I get it. It's hard. Game development's really hard. Alright, return home, let's go. Four nine thirty-six. Don't worry, we're gonna clean this up. It's gonna be much better. Okay, so, that one's all done. Now we can go back to World 3. Evening Blake. Two levels we've got to complete. The fireworks factory. And Lost Fleet. And then the Sparks level. Lost Fleet I couldn't do because we didn't have Hunter. Fireworks Factory I couldn't do because I didn't have Agent 9. Sparks level I couldn't do because I hadn't finished the world yet. Okay, here we go. Interesting camera angles. In interesting. Okay, so... Let's go to Fireworks Factory. That's the very first thing. Because I've gotten used to how Agent 9 plays, so while I've got that in my mind, we can keep going. Entering Fireworks Factory. Alright, so this should all be, like, done. Good thing about this compared to Spyro 2, that it just saves what you did. And so if you beat the level already, you just have to go straight here. I'm only missing. Well, I'm missing two eggs and 175 gems. Hey, Spyro! I'm helping a kid named Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know I'm always ready to kick some Rhinox booty! All right, let's go. Hi, Agent Nine. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the attack button to shoot, and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge left and right. Defeat the ninjas to find the baby dragon egg. Press the Y button to enter sniper mode. Press L and R to zoom in. This one I'm just in first person the whole time. And I can't get out of it. Just so you know. It's like a maze, like a corridor shooter. You know, you're doomed to the world, etc. Of course, much slower pace than those sorts of games. If this was Quake, for example, it'd be like ten times as fast. Hmm. 
where are you coming from? This will not stand. Now I'm not sure which the way forward is or not. So I'm gonna go this way. Ah, okay. This is just a recharge for health. You got it. So now I'm missing 124. Which means there must be another part of the level I've just not done. Also, the egg's called your doomed. So this must be this one, because I'm in doom of this kind of I'm hoping I can run around it like a normal person after I'm done. Rather than having to go around in third person. Or first person even. I know what I mean. Okay. As soon as we start doing this, we'll start clearing up our gem count. Be some quite so awful. Ow. Looks like I can only take three hits. Still doomed. It looks like there's a second group. So it probably checkpointed me halfway through and now I'm in a second variation of the level. But I doubt there's gonna be enough gems in, in this section to do it either. The game will tell me if I try and get out and it, the sparks point to be straight back in, then I'll know. I like it a lot more when games are just very clear where the spawners are. This is the spawner, if you remove it, they stop spawning. Makes life easy. And maybe you don't want life to be easy, but I do. Two I just missed, to be fair. I don't know for sure, but it looks like it could be. There, okay. I mean, now I'm only missing ten. So it's possible that I could get it more here now. I thought it was impossible, but it looks like it's very possible. Destroy the spawners quick. 
quickly. There we go. What's that? And now we've got 600 out of 600 and we can free our boy. Thanks for rescuing me. You better look after this egg. Or the Rhinox try to blow that up too. Donovan. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's get out. Level's done. Turning home. And let's go to Lost Fleet. Our gems still look god awful, but again. It won't be for long. We'll fix it. Okay. Yeah, just missing 89 here now. I know exactly where I'm going too. Right, let's have the last of this drink. Menagerie. There we go. Alright. Hunter me, old mate. How you doing? Spyro! You're just in time! A Rhinox skateboard gang's challenged us to a race. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you, though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. So, Hello. are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. That's both. I'll race the Rhinox. Right you can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the charge button. Good luck. Okay, so I'm gonna have to perform tricks to get turbos. Use turbos pressing the X button and beat all the Rhinox in a three lap race. Okay. And assuming I don't like eat the big one. Yeah, if you fall, I'm guessing I die. Oh no, I didn't die. That's gotta, I basically just won't win, I guess. So this could be my gem collecting run. into things also seems to give me a boost. Make that jump. Let's try a bit better. There we go. Alright, so I'm in super last. There's no way I don't finish last. But now I understand a bit more. About what I have to actually do. Gem. Gotta get that gem. I'm missing 10. Somewhere on the level. These, these 10. Don't know what that was about. There we go. Right, so now we've got all the gems. Now I can focus on winning. Sheesh, what happened? I can... All right. All right, here we go. All right, so just use the, the, the tricks of the trade.
It's not very cash money of you, is it? Now, I remember this being not easy. I don't remember why. Now I'm in the lead. I guess all I have to do is not fuck up. Easier said than done, I'm aware. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so do those twisted moves. And we'll be good to go. cheat the game, but you cheated yourself. You didn't grow, you didn't improve. Whoopsie. I went backwards by mistake. Wanted to jump, fucked it up, it's okay. You can do this one instead. Yes! You schooled them like a bunch of dizzy one-toed sand norks. Oh yeah, I guess we won this egg too. Sweet. Oliver. Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a shot? Of course I do. You on, pal. All right. Eat my skate dust, sucker. Defeat all the crabs on the course and beat Hunter in a three-lap race. So, first of all, I've got to know where all the crabs are. There's one in the shortcut. You got it. Yeah. Oopsie. Okay. From there, it's one here. Okay, don't have to get them all on one lap. If I get this one now, I don't have to worry about it. And I know where the rest are now. Uh oh. Okay, so there's no angular momentum in this game engine. Because I was boosting sideways hoping to get the physics to push me in the right direction again, but it didn't work. That was a flip. And anyone's money. One, two, three. Now it's got to win. Easy peasy. I mean, if I don't fuck it up, but even still, I can basically just do what I want. Okay, you put me here. That's interesting. Sheesh. I can't believe you beat me. You must have been practicing the whole time while I thought you were just looking for eggs. Hey, speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding this one. Aiden. Hello, Aiden. You're from a not very good game. Oh, I went through the teleport. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd fuck something up. Maybe I have fucked something up by doing that, but maybe not. Now he's got to leave. Goodbye. Would have been better if I hadn't slipped there, but that's fine. We got here. What? I want. Bird absolutely reamed me. But 
return home. Ah, a beautiful gem count once again. Right, so now we're done, but we can go to the Sparks level and do that as well. Princess Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She said there's an egg hidden in there. I think Sparks should check it out. I will. Enter the Starfish Reef bonus world. I will. Thank you. Bum, ba -dum. The adventure continues. Okay, I'll be up back. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Uh, we're in the Starfish Reef. We're trying to collect gems and not die. The starfish want nothing to do with me. They want to uh, murder my face. One thing we've got to do for sure is make sure that I, uh, I'm doing more strafing. If I'm not strafing, I will be killed. Mainly because I, I I know I'm just not that good at the shooting part of this game. So if I can help myself in any way, I will. What's the blue? Oh, mines. Oh. I didn't know you split into more. Oh, jeez. Oh, look, we've got a good choke point here. A real nice choke point. Okay. Hopefully we won't miss any gems. I'm, I'm mainly focused on not missing gems right now. Who knows if that'll work. We've got 200 to go. Or to find. 146 left to go. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything here. I need a key of some kind to open the other door. He's put himself in a bad position again. See ya. Uh oh, not see ya. Help! Help! Okay, I'm fine. I think. Just gotta kite them all for a minute. Well, I should be able to get around here and open up a gap. There we go. Okay. Was it a bit tricksy? Yes. Did I make it happen? Hell yeah. Okay, can't go through there. Just find a healing butterfly. I'm guessing me killing the things before unlock the stuff after, so. So now I can go through here. Yeah. It's a big shotgun blast. Or like special shot in Contra. Everyone thought was OP, but it's actually not that great. If you want to be super OP against bosses, you want to use fire instead and do the supercharged up fire shot.
course, it's still really overpowered for bosses with multiple hit points, but... I mean, I might as well use it. I never use all my special moves, so. What's the point in having it if you don't use it? Okay, I'm missing 48. Does that look reasonable? these things can you make? I'm gonna beat them beat a hit there. Anna Sean. A spark to defeat the Manta Ray. Manta Eraser. Eraser spelled E R A Y S E R. Aha! Yes. Good job, me. You didn't fuck it up entirely. That's all I can really ask for. So, we've got. Or the gems. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. And now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger. How so? Allowing you to take one more hit for Spyro. Oh. I'm like super duper powered. I think it just means that you you stay gold for an extra hit. Okay, so now we've got to go back to World Four. Midnight Mountain. And since we can't really do any major levels, we'll do the speedway. Because the speedway won't take 17 minutes, hopefully. I know I was gone for a little while, but... Can't really help it. I don't know why I thought his name was Agent 7. No idea. It's Agent 9. Okay, right. To the lighthouse. Yeah, we're like, he's got a super shine on him now. Harbour Speedway. I'd like to do the time attack, please. <laughs> Seagulls, arches, lobsters, fish. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. You never swim. You never swim into them. I'm not doing it the way they told me to. Because I lost a lot of time doing it that way. I mean, not I lost a lot of time doing it the way that I chose to do it.
Ultimately, as long as I win, it doesn't really matter how I do it, but... It's felt like there's a lot of wasted time. I would have lost anyway because I missed that fish. Alright, try again. First things first. It goes a lot faster if you do it in an order that makes sense, like going backwards into the seagulls. Then I'm going to do fish because they feel like the most annoying afterwards. Okay, now arches. And then uh, lobsters to end. Hunter's gonna be in there, yeah. Probably a requirement to not touch the ground on this level, but I haven't done that, so. Oh, piss off. It's fine, okay. Just need to find the last lobster. Maybe he is over there. Okay. Was not the best I've ever done, by any means, but. Right, let's see. So if I do it the way the game literally wants me to do it. Do I have more or less time? Okay, I could have hit him. I mean, I get why they did it, because it's all circles then. And you start here, then you'd hit the lobsters as you're going. Which means I don't save any time by hitting the lobsters early, because I have to hit them here anyway. I guess it's, it saves time in a sense, because I don't have to worry about it. But... Then, you turn back on yourself to then kill the fish easier. Now we can go to the uh, the lighthouse. Hmm. Why is this bit open? Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with them as long as I can make it through those ranks. This achievement is called Hunt for Hunter. Find Hunter in Harvest I'm Speedway. Chase him down. Should Hunter chase the sheep UFO? Hurry up already. Right back. Follow him exactly, then it won't be a problem. I think I'm supposed to catch up with him, so. He's only trying to trick me by changing the height. Come on, don't try and do this shit with me. Yes, that was 
close. The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed. No problem. Sada. Kobe. I'd like to race the blue-footed boobies, please. I will. Fly through the green rings, use the red dots to help navigate the course. Here we go. They've never lost a race, they say. That's about to change. Oh god. Okay, that's a risky business to get. Go underneath and get that one again. And then do the sharpest turn you've ever seen. Okay. I'm in fourth. Could also be running along the ground in certain paths to make my life better. could be use a certain amount of missiles for the achievement. I don't know for sure. But. I've gone through enough stars already, surely. Not that one. This one. Then I lose ground here because I don't take the star, so they go a little bit faster than me. have gone through it, we're pretty much okay. Again, I'm, I'm reversing myself. So as long as I don't fuck up. Should be good to go. Alright. Just patience now. I don't think they have rubber banding, so as long as I don't completely fuck it up, I don't think I can lose. First place. I would not like to try again. Jesse. I would like to leave the level, please. We need to find some of the dragonfly buddies and you can race. But for you, obviously, it'd be an endurance race. Okay, so, with that said and done, we just jump in the water for no reason. Let's not do that. I'll see you next time when we go to the Dino Mines and keep going through World 4. Goodbye.